This case is another classic example of spastic quadriplegia. This test of weight bearing on the chest exposes usual signs. Lack of head control, collapse of the arms and legs, absence of protective action. On opposite, a healthy child has easy tolerance of this position as early as being three, four months old. Sitting position exhibits another set of features characteristic to establish spastic quadriplegia. Rigid extension of the body, backwards drop and thrust of the head, rigidly bent arms, sliding instead of sitting due to the pelvic tilt and positioning on the sacrum. Sitting is impossible. Without support, this child rigidly falls, being unable neither to balance her body nor to extend her arms to protect herself from fall. This case vividly demonstrates a bulge of the neck, an absolutely essential sign of a spastic child, showing the weakness of intrinsic muscles of the neck and trachea. This weakness makes head control impossible and causes rigid extension of the entire body. We see this girl two years late, after about 2,000 ABR working hours. During this period, there were no other treatments but ABR. Her entire body changed completely. The thorax regained its volume and strength. As a result, a weight-bearing test presents no problem. She holds her head easily and extends her arms in a protective reaction. Second, give us a quadruped position. It is a pleasure to see great expansion of movements. Two years ago, she hardly tolerated being prone at all, being unable to lift her head properly. Very good. Today, she shows easy transition from lying on her front to the position on her hands and knees to kneeling. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. We are impressed. It's good. And so much more agile, right? Sitting is truly unsupported. She moves her arms at will, moves her head whichever way she likes, without compromising stability of her sitting. Next stage of verticalization is now possible. The child has enough upper body strength and pelvic stability to come up to high kneeling with minimal single hand support only. Yet again, this case demonstrates how the structure and function of musculoskeletal system improves from the top downwards following ABR program and how the progress of structure at the level of the trunk, neck and head brings clear and obvious improvements of the motor functions of the arms and legs. Good. What was that time before? To film you. <laughs> <laughs>